Welcome to the Friday Shave, and we're gonna go today with the new luxury formulation of Katie's Bubbles Rousse du Matin. I tr try to do the translation on it, make sure I pronounce it correctly in French. If you don't know what this one smells like, it's basically uh, Chris Collins' um, favorite soda, Mountain Dew, and it's pretty close. Uh, I got the uh, after splash with it, it gives you a little stronger idea of the scent. I'm impressed. I've been kind of enamored with wanting to try this soap for a while just because of hearing one smell. It's like Mountain Dew. So here you go. We're going to go with the, uh, let's go with the Americanized pronunciation, the uh, Vylon horsehair brush, the Pelon I just got um, a couple, no, two days ago. Merker 34C with the Persona Red after three shaves. Like I said, matching splash. There's astringent. Original unscented witch hazel, which means there's a little bit of alcohol. Straight whisker after balm. And my uh, Teach Hanley Morning Tag Team of eye cream and uh, AM moisturizer. I got the puck blooming. I have the razor and br a brush for soaking here. The bloom water on the face. I'm already cleaned out. Put out of the shower. And we're not going to talk a lot today unless it's about product. Um, I made a video yesterday, but I, I marked, I posted it, but marked it private after about four people saw it. And I, I got a, I ended up getting upset about, I was using, got a great shave with the Mitchell's Wool Fat and that Persona and a Phoenix Arce Accoutrements, a double open comb with the Persona. But something went down and I got upset about it. Eventually, I got to the point where I didn't name any names, but if I posted it, it, it wouldn't have been beneficial. So I said, you know what? Leave it private. If you want to share it some other time later, fine. But I'm not here to stir the pot or be a dick about anything. So I, I mean, stir the not I stir the pot maliciously, or make it feel like malicious or attack anyone or so. Wow, this is lathered nicely. Um, so I have LTV in the uh, softer version. This is a hard puck. In this is a hard soap in comparison to the other version. And it's less in... It's four ounces. Well, I think it's going to last probably longer in a lot of senses. Refreshing scent. Oh, getting a great lather. This is my second Katie's Bubble Soap. And I like my first one, I just didn't buy a second. I guess I was thinking, which one, which, uh, which scent do I want to buy next? A lot of people love LPV, which I may trade for. I had an offer from a gentleman I met at the uh, Space City shaving meetup who contacted me yesterday. I don't have a lot of duplicates of stuff, so I got to see what I really want to part with. So, oh, this is, this is great lather. I'm very impressed. All right, so this will probably be the last shave on this blade. Let's get into it. Well, it's still cutting great. Great residual slickness right away. My hand's barely wet. I'm testing with my right hand here. So we have a morning shave posted a little earlier by uh, Christopher Bailey, this, the shaving evangelist. Using Mike's natural soap, uh, what is it, Hungarian lavender. I've never used Mike's, just one that 
I haven't purchased yet. I kind of need to slow down. I'm way overdoing it. And, uh, but I want to try mics because I, I hear great things. And apparently, according to Chris, Maggard Razors is now a uh, distributor for it, as opposed to going directly to uh, to Mike Soap's site directly. So if you like shopping with Maggard, you have another option. I have, I've done my fair share of purchasing from Maggard. I think my three main places are uh, Maggard, Italian Barber, and directly through uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, phoenixshaving.com. from fine accoutrements when the couple of the new uh, I think I just ordered the soap to make the ASs elsewhere well, when platinum and uh, orange noir soaps came out Okay, for the record, I am getting a little tingle in some spots. Uh, probably a little with essential oil, whatever blend. That's okay. It's, I just noticed it. It's not a, it's not an irritant that's going to cause you a problem. But I get the same feeling with uh, shaving shops, uh, barber shop, poivre rosé. So if you're if you're sensitive to, and these are standard warnings on pretty much all artisans' uh, sites. So if you have a issue or irritation or you know stop using immediately. So I'm not talking out of school, but it's mild. I don't get any residual irritation. I just notice it's there. You know the feeling, and it goes away. But I'm just going to report it as it is. Gonna be a good shape, Tater. Let's see how much soap we got left in this bad boy. You know what? I'm gonna have to lather up a little more. Like, like I said in a previous video a few days ago, lathering is probably one of my weakest. There he is. Now I'm just painting on this. I just want to make sure there was enough. <laughs> But if I would have loaded the brush properly, first time may not have been an issue. I'm still, I mean, it's my second shade with this horsehair brush, so.
I realized in my video, uh, you get a lot of forearm with me because of my angle, but... Oh, yesterday I felt kind of bad. I was cleaning up my living room a little and I had a few little boxes from my mail call and some stuff and I know I posted a picture of my mail call and I felt bad because I love the chin. Yuck. Working on that. Um, but I forgot to include the Swedish fish in my picture. Um, the lovely uh, accompanying uh, gift from Mrs. Bubbles. <laughs> now I've never met the Collins, but I do know about the Swedish fish and I thought for a second I didn't get one. I was, I guess I remembered subconsciously as she includes one with the note in the in the delivery. And then I thought yesterday and I was like, oh, I got the fish. The little things. It matters. I'm glad they do it. I'm glad, I'm thankful to, uh, to all the artisans who include something a little extra. Lovely handwritten notes, like I got from them, like I get from Peter Charcalis and his wife. You know, you order from the shaving shop, depending on, I guess, who packages the order, if Peter's in, in country or not. <laughs> uh, PAA, with their inclusion, you know, usually you can get a bumper sticker or something, some other thing. Obviously, there's a business card and there's other stuff, but but I got the bumper sticker on my car. I'm, pimp, I'm advertising the lifestyle, you know, for, you know. Uh, people asking me, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Which reminds me, tonight, I gotta prep a little kit for my golf coach. Because he knows I'm into this. I talk about it as part of our banter during my lesson. And he's he, he likes his beard. He knocks it down, but he talks about lining it up and how it's hard to do it with a cartridge. And I said, well... Why don't you try a safety razor? I'm gonna load in probably my Parker uh, 76R. And make them a goodie bag of blades. Including my three favorites and a bait and a persona blue. If he likes it, I'll just pitch him the razor. Because my 76R gets no love, I'm just not a fan of it. But if it helps him... Good shape. If it helps him line his beard up better... Maybe I can bring somebody into the fold. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to drain, uh, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm hitting up the album. See how our shave did. Okay, I'm very impressed. Even where I did pickups, as Paul H. says, barely feeling anything, any reaction. Sign of a good shave where you feel it smooth and you're getting basically zero feedback from your album block. I mean, your irritation was minimal. Astringent there's. I have left over my unscented. Now I got the cucumber and the medicated. 
yesterday I went with the medicated for the clove notes because I my aftershave I used was nine by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, which is reminiscent of I forget the name, but it's a famous gun cleaner. Famous brand of gun cleaner. And I love the scent. Another one that intrigued me and I just said to heck with it, I'll get get a bottle. All right, again, now there is a little alcohol in the astringent style, but again, obviously, not a lot of irritation because I'm feeling just like, like a slight, slight sting from freshly shaved skin, not, not major irritation. Straight whisker after balm. I'm telling you, I told you I'm gonna keep saying it. Stray whisker after balm is probably no offense to anyone else on the planet who makes a good balm. Which a lot of you do, and I own some. But I think Stray Whisker After Balm is probably the best I've ever tried. It's a combination of factors. Particularly the fast absorption and still how it leaves your face. Now I forgot this so before I put on my moisturizer I'm gonna let this soak in and we're gonna put on a little Mountain Dew splash let's call it <laughs> Rousse du Matin and their after splash is great because it has a lot of the great stuff and it. it has aloe leaf juice uh, Witch hazel, uh, white willow bark extract, little menthol, um, some tea tree oil. It's another good skin food. I mean, I mean, my face. If it wasn't for the way it looks in terms of structure, I'm, I'm a handsome man. I'm a jerk. <laughs> but. But use, use quality products, watch how it treats your skin, wash it twice a day, especially if you know you got, like I have, my pores on my nose are more sizable. You don't really shrink pores, you just keep them clean. Like shrinking pores I think is just a term that got out there. The more I research and hear folks, but wash twice a day, scrub twice a week. Like they talk about with T. Shanley, but you can do it with any product. Just do it. <laughs> You'll notice you're, you're clearer, your skin's fresher looking. You slow the aging process. I'm just putting on the moisturizer now. That's sunscreen. Use a moisturizer with sunscreen during the day, especially if you're outdoors a lot. Um, take care of your skin. I mean, look good. I mean, yeah, I can lose some weight. I need to, but... I don't get breakouts. I, I haven't had a zit in forever. I mean, since I've really started the routine. And we still get adult acne from time to time. But if you clean your skin, you can minimize that or prevent it. So anyway, I'm done. And thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Friday. If you have it off, great. Not me, not this time. So um, no staring at boobs and drinking beer, uh, which is Twin Peaks. So they're covered boobs, but they're still boobs. Yeah, I am a guy. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, have a good day. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to share that video, but it's on my page, but it's private, so yeah. maybe I'll unlock it, and if you want to watch it and judge me, fine. I, I just got a little upset, but not, not necessarily yelling, but just judgmental, but for the right reasons, I think. But anyway, take care, and I will probably see you uh, tomorrow morning for another shave. Bye.